Hey everyone, this is Stan and I'm here to review a um, LEGO Star Wars set that was released back in summer of 2013. This is Jack 14 Stealth Starfighter and uh, it has 532 pieces and it costs $69.99, quite an expensive set for a, uh, a starship of this size. But nowadays Star Wars sets have increasing value and uh, the 70 bucks this is about what you get. So. Um, here is the Starfighter. I'll go over the minifigures first. You have uh, Jack 14. He has a helmet and then includes his hairpiece. What I like about him is the uh, white lightsaber hilt and this is the only set that includes it other than a uh, promotional set from Comic-Con which uh, you don't uh, you can't get it unless you probably go there or pay high prices on Bricklink or eBay. Um, it also includes a transparent light blue arm with printed uh, lightning pattern on the side. Pretty cool. I've never seen a transparent arm before. So, that's a minifig there. This is a special task force clone trooper. There is a printing on the uh, front and the printing on the back. And uh, this is a bounty hunter. There's the uh, head printing and then the printing on the back. And an astromech droid, which I don't remember the exact number. So, all right, and then this. It's the sticker sheet for the model. I have not applied the stickers because I'm planning on using them for my uh, future models. So this is the main Starfighter. I'll briefly run down the quick um, play feature. So the main one is the uh, folding wings. And uh, I'll go over the mechanism in a bit. And then in the back, we have a box that opens to review. I believe, I'm not sure what this is, perhaps a hologram projector or a, I don't know, energy cube, no idea. Someone from uh, knowledgeable of Star Wars, please educate me on that. This is a, uh, a rotating cannon. It goes 360, and then underneath you have um, flick fire missiles. <laughs> they obviously don't shoot very far. So um, this is the model. So and all its play features. Piece-wise, there aren't that many great pieces. This one in particular, I do like. This is an unprinted version of the astromech head. So uh, very useful if you are a, a space builder. Um, some good details to be made with this piece. Other than that, there are these hinges here. Um, they're plate hinges. You can see this is a uh, one by almost one by four plate with a hinge on the very end, and then that connects to a black version of it on the bottom. This piece right here. And in terms of um, the wing folding mechanism. So there is the lever, and now just twist on that, and the wings kind of pop up. And the overall, it's just a roughly 15 degree raise or change. Um, not very significant, but it is there for you to play with. So I do like the uh, hi uh, simulated hydraulic system. So you can see the uh, this bar actually retracts into the tube when I rotate the wings. Other than that, pretty standard model, um, nothing too fancy. Color scheme is pretty basic, red, uh, black, and gray. So uh, definitely I uh, would not buy this piece, uh, buy this set for parts. And uh, if you can catch it on sale, then uh, it's uh, much more reasonable. $70 is quite expensive. So I hope you enjoyed this review and uh, thank you for watching.